Welcome back. I'm Greg Dewar, real estate broker, mortgage agent, and the owner of Dewar Realty. There are so many different things to consider when planning your renovation priorities in order to get ready to sell. And that's why we broke this topic down into two episodes. Last week, we talked about prioritizing the basics, deal breakers, and your budget. And if you missed it, just click on the link in the description. But don't leave just yet, because this week we're covering why consistency and curb appeal are important factors as well. Before we begin, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you can continue to grow your real estate savvy skills with me. Number one, consistency. The reason people love new homes or professionally renovated homes so much is because there was a design plan and the entire house is built to have a similar look and feel no matter where you are in the house. And that's why you should try your best to build a consistent feel throughout the property that will complement your home's overall style. So all your flooring, paint, cabinetry, and accent colors should all be similar if not the same. Consistency is how you get the best return on your renovation expenses. This doesn't mean that your home will lack character or that it will be dull. It means that your home maintains the same essence in all areas. So be sure to keep it consistent and plan ahead if you anticipate that your renovations will take a few years to complete. Number two, curb appeal. Think about it. The front exterior picture of your home is the first thing that people will see when they're browsing online and it is how your home greets potential buyers live in person. You want that experience to be helpful, not harmful. You want your home to draw people in and there are a few things you should do to achieve that. Cleaning your brick, siding, windows and eaves trough with soap, water and a scrub brush. Seriously, use a scrub brush. It's not the most exciting job, but do it anyways. Get your lawn and gardens tidied up. Make sure you work towards having a healthy lawn, cut the grass, and use the weed whacker. Nobody uses the weed whacker, so use it. Weed and mulch your gardens, and water is your lawn and gardens best friend. Professionals can do all of this for a reasonable rate if you lack the time, tools, or knowledge yourself. Budget for the needed improvements or repairs to your walkway, porch, driveway, leaky eaves trough, paint, or lighting. If these things are not taken care of, people will be mentally adding up the expenses as they're walking into your home, or they will simply pass over it while browsing online and never even come to see your home. Remember, you don't have to spend a ton of money to give your home good curb appeal. Just keep it neat, tidy, and consistent. And a bonus tip at number three, my final words of advice are to beware of the DIY project. Poorly done renovations can negatively impact the value of your home. So be honest with yourself and know when to call a professional to get the job done right the first time. Renovating can be a pain and sometimes causes more harm than good if you aren't quite sure what you're doing. So before making any solid commitments, I recommend contacting a realtor in your area to schedule an in-home evaluation six to nine months ahead of time. I hope now you feel more confident to make those renovating decisions that you've been considering. And if you're wondering what renovations look like in real time, be sure to check out my other series, Renovation and Allocation. The links are in the description. Catch you next time where we stage a one and a half million dollar home to real and potential buyers. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you're always notified when a new episode drops.